Mary was there. She came back from what they call the lesser heart. She was wearing black. She was mourning. If you look at the pictures that were circulated at that, part, at that point in time, you will see the smog, or should I say, the forlorn faces of northern governors. A minute silence was held at the AU for a late Buhari. Even her Britannic Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, also penned a condolence message to the people of Nigeria before the cabal took over and asked her to rescind it, which she did. Buhari is dead, and I'm prepared to stake Biafra on it. If you, Dele Momodu, can go and prove to me, I'm not asking you to do anything too complex. If you can go and ask this man you call Buhari, whoever it is in Asorok, to come outside, don't do very much, address a panel of Nigerian youths, maybe 20 of them, and speak Buhari's mother tongue, which is Fufude. I will give up Biafra, I will apologize to him, and I will submit myself to any authority on this earth to do with me as they please. There is no Buhari. Jubril was there. Jubril followed Abakiri to Cuba and ran away from there and never came back. The man you have now in Asarok is from Niger Republic. His name is Yusuf Abubakar Muhammad. That's his name. Yusuf Abubakar Muhammad. Even Shekau knows who he is personally and was mentioning his name as well. It is not Buhari. The, the old Buhari that you and I know, the country cannot be burning and he will restrict himself to only 12 minutes of edited broadcast. Impossible. Impossible. Anybody that knows Buhari, even if he's dying, he must speak because he fought in his own understanding to keep Nigeria warm. Anything that impacts or threatens the territorial, the territorial um, um, cohesion and integrity of Nigeria, the old Buhari, in fact, will be in Lagos. The old Buhari will be in Lagos, I'm telling you. But this little Buhari, have you not seen him? With his fresh hands, hands of a 35 year old. He cannot wear this. He cannot wear this. Because if he wears this, his ear will bend. Because he's rubber. Silicon. We know about AI technology. It's deep fake. Please Google it. You're a media man, you must know this. I can replicate this very interview with your face showing us having this conversation. But it is not you. You also saw that some, would I say, some, uh, some eagle-eyed um, 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 investigators managed to discover that there was actually a microphone, that a loudspeaker on the table. It's everything that they claimed that Buhari was saying was coming from a loudspeaker. From a loudspeaker. Very, very sad indeed. These are the things that the world must understand and come to terms with. That the person you are calling Buhari is not Buhari, and I can stake my life on it. If he comes out tomorrow and takes, or should I say, address any press interview live, without Garobashe who bring these telling people to court, 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 if he can come out tomorrow, a panel of journalists will, in fact, no, no, not journalists, because some of them are corrupt, youths will address him. There and then you will know that Buhari is no more. There is no Buhari. No country. How can you have a country you claim you're proud of? And that country is run by 10-minute video recorded every four, four months. What sort of country is that? Every four months you issue a, a pre-recorded um, video to address 200 million people. What an insult. What an insult. In a time of crisis... There is COVID-19. People are agitating. They're very restive. All the only thing you can do is 10 minutes video. Laughable and absolutely absurd. And no sensible person should be able to tolerate it. Aisha Buhari was there. She came back from what they call the lesser